When I took the bathroom mirror down in order to paint behind it, I knew it needed something before it went back up. So I built a quick and easy frame out of scrap wood to go around it, and boy does it look better. To start, you'll need a mirror and mirror clips, which if you're looking to frame a mirror, are probably on your wall already. Additionally, you'll need wood for the frame, which if you don't work with wood regularly, you can purchase and have cut at your local home improvement store. Finally, you'll need something to hold the frame together. I used pocket holes and screws, but if you don't have a pocket hole jig, tie plates work too, and they're super easy to use. I started by prepping my wood. If you purchase your wood new and have it cut in store, you might not actually have anything to do here. I used a scrap piece of cedar fence picket, so I had to cut it to the right size and sand it significantly to be useful. Then I put the frame together. I drilled two pocket holes at each corner, then used pocket hole screws to secure the joint. If you don't have a pocket hole jig, tie plates are flat pieces of metal that can be placed at the joint to hold everything together. They're easy to use, you just secure with screws, and pretty affordable if you're looking at this option. Next, I secured the mirror clips to the back of the frame. The idea is that these clips secure the mirror to the frame and the frame is what hangs on the wall. I used four clips total, two on the top and two on the bottom. Finally, I attached two picture hangers to the back of the frame. I chose this type of hanger because it was swingy, meaning it could still reach a screw in the wall even though the mirror and clips bump the frame forward a little bit. To hang the frame, I used the holes that were in place for the mirror clips from before. Theoretically, these already have drywall anchors or are located at studs, so the hard work is done for you. I added screws to each hole, then hung the frame up to test the placement. Lastly, I used some spare black spray paint to paint the frame, then slid the mirror into place. Then it was done. This was an easy and quick upgrade, although I do have to admit, I'm not sure I love the black. I can always paint it again later though, and I figure it's good enough for now. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And if you want more information, check out the blog post linked in the description below. Thanks, and don't forget to hit subscribe.